Okay, in this problem we're given a continuously differentiable function f of x, y equals x e to the y squared and p is a point at 2, 0. And we're asked to calculate first f of p and then sketch the tangent or the, the level curve f equals f of p and then we're asked to sketch the gradient vector uh, the gradient of f at p and then we are asked to sketch the tangent line to the level curve uh, at p and then find an equation for the tangent line to the level curve at p. Okay, so first we'll calculate f of p. So given our function f of 2, 0 is 2 e to the 0, which is just 2. So our level curve is going to be 2, or I'll write it up here, 2 is equal to x e to the y squared. Okay, so now let's sketch this level set. So this is going to look kind of kind of like that and it attains a maximum at x equals 2 or when y is 0 x is 2 I should say and this is positive 2 maybe that goes a little bit closer and we'll call that negative 2. So it's a little uneven but you get the idea. So um, we want to sketch the gradient vector the gradient of f at p. So first the gradient vector we'll calculate is partial derivative with respect to x is e to the y squared. Partial derivative with respect to y is 2xy e to the y squared and we want this evaluated at p which is 2 0 so if we plug in 2 0 we get one y is 0 so this entire term is 0 so we get 1 0 so our gradient vector so here's our point p at 2, 0, and it's going to be pointing in the direction 1, 0. So that's just right along the x-axis. I'll try to emphasize it with red. So there's our gradient vector of f at p. And now we want to sketch the tangent line to the level curve of f at p. So first we'll just find an equation for the tangent line which is the gradient vector of f at p dotted with x minus p equals zero. So our gradient ve vector at p is 1, 0. So we have one zero dotted with x minus p. So we'll write that component wise, which is x minus 2 comma y minus 0 is equal to 0. So we can evaluate this dot product and we get x minus 2 is equal to 0 or just x is equal to 2. So this is going to be the vertical line at x equals 2.
So as we can see, or we might have guessed, the tangent line is the vertical line at x equals 2. 